Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, so we're going to jump right into this layout um, and then in a few minutes I'm going to come back with an in the middle of the layout introduction. So the sketch I'm using is from Creative Memories. I actually picked it because of this paper. I had made this kit, it's a stash kit, and it's based off of a hip kit from April or May 2019 and one of the actual papers in the kit was this piece from Paige Evans Horizon and I wanted to use it but it's it's one of those things where you definitely are supposed to cut it up you're not supposed to use it as the whole thing so in looking for a sketch for Lift and Sketch with Christy and Rachel, which is what I'm doing. See, and this is why I like to do the introductions first, because I forget stuff like that. Welcome to another episode of Lift and Sketch with Christy and Rachel. Today, we are working with this sketch from Creative Memories. There you go. So right now, I'm just chopping up the squares and triangles on this piece of paper. I am cutting away from that because it's super repetitive. So as I was saying, as I was looking for a sketch, uh, probably about a week or so after I had made this stash kit, I was like, oh, look at that. That sketch would be perfect for that piece of paper that I have in that stash kit. So I, you know, uh, saved it to my phone. And then when it came time to pick layouts for the month of June, I was like, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going through and I'm kind of just like laying out in a template, you know, where I'm going to put things. I'm, you know, making sure I'm using different colors. I don't have two greens together and two blues together and I'm spreading out the colors and all of that, you know, just trying to make everything look good. And, you know, also, of course, using the papers I like better <laughs> than some of the ones I don't particularly care for. <laughs> so I'm going to work on all the left hand side stuff and then I... I have those two on the right hand side and I know I want to use this navy floral piece but I don't necessarily know where I want it to go until I get the other other elements on my page and now here's the intro. Hey everyone, so obviously as you uh, I would have started my voiceover um, you can tell that I did this a little backwards. The reason being is that I thought this had to be up today meaning the day i am um making the layout and i freaked out i was like oh my gosh only i had people overlap not people but my my housemate was home and i didn't no 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 zany xanthi you've already been up here because i can see your cat hair um so i started it last night even though she was home and i was just like you know what i'm just going to have it be that there's no intro as I normally do where I can talk to you in real time and not try to rush through it. But then I realized, no, this actually goes up on the 29th. So I have time to do it. <laughs> but I do want to say um, two things. One, <laughs> the sketch we're working with is from Creative Memories. I picked it out specifically because of this piece of paper that was part of the Oh my gosh, what's the word? Not confederate. I want to say confederate. Counterfeit. Thank you. The counterfeit kit I made based off of a hip kit. And then I also want to make sure to let you know that you should go on over and check out Christy's take on this sketch. I will put a link to her channel in the description box below and you can see what she did with it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead back, start working and go back to the voiceover. All right, folks, uh, we already started to go. So let's get going again. Okay, so now that the bizarre part of the layout video is over, let's go back. I am going to go ahead and ink up all of the squares and triangles. And luckily for you, I did edit that part out because whoo talk about boring. Yeah. 
All right, so now I have everything, and what I have, I had purchased the six by eight paper pad, and simply because uh, I made it, uh, if you guys watched my mini album share a couple weeks ago, I had made a mini album for my nephew, and I used a good half of the six by eight, but I have some left over, and I thought, oh, this will be perfect for that, even though technically I should be only using my stash kit. You know, I still am allowed to use what I want for my stash, and there's no rules. So I pull out that Trum sunburst, starbursty, rainbow paper, and then also this multicolor plus sign one, and this has gold in it as well as the multiple colors. So I'm going to map my photo with that, as you can see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down the rainbow piece, and I'm going to start trimming it to, I think, six by six. But I'm going to do it so that the center point is still the center point. So I, I, I chopped an inch off of each or an inch and a half. No, an inch, yes. Rachel can add two plus six equals eight. So right now it's six by six. I am going to have to cut that down even smaller. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and ink up my journaling spot, which I also got from the 6x8 paper pad, as well as the mat around my photo and that 6x6 piece of paper. So I'm going to start to place everything, and I'm going ahead, skipping ahead, simply because in just putting everything back where it belongs, I am going to grab my centering ruler, and this is actually one of those thickers guides, but it works as a centering ruler, and basically what I'm doing is I'm making sure, and I'm adding some washi tape so it doesn't move, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that that top point and then the bottom point both hit directly um, where the thickers guide uh, lines it up. And yes, I am wearing my hood. It's June. Just so you know, I did. This is not something that is was made months and months ago. And there's Xanthi trying to eat my glue. Uh, I actually made this just a week ago. Uh, today, I'm doing the voiceover the day before it's going out. Uh, and when I was mistakenly thinking it was due last weekend, I was making this on a Saturday. So Saturday, June, what was that, the 22nd, the 23rd? And yes, I'm wearing a sweater with a hood. <laughs> it was very chilly here. It is no longer chilly here. It is now like over 90. I had to turn the air conditioner off in order to do this voiceover. It went from like medium low 60s to 90s in one week. It's crazy. So as you can see, moving back to the layout, I did trim that rainbow piece down and I was just trying to figure out what colors I wanted to poke out from there and I decided on the yellows, the pinks, because uh, my friends and I are wearing yellow and pink peep headbands that we got at Target. Uh, I belong to a message board and we refer to ourselves as the peeps so uh, we have lots of peep themed things and so now that I have um, my other pieces down I know where I want to stick that floral piece I'm happy with the way that it's looking although I can't seem to get it tucked underneath my photo finally manage it though and now I'm going to work on my title I think let's see am I right Aha, yes I am. I pull these white thickers. I don't remember what they're called. If you really need me to get you the name, just uh, drop a comment below and I will answer that. They're more of like an epoxy puffy sticker rather than a, a foam. It's not a foam thicker, but it's not chipboard either. Oh, that was Xanthi. Bless you, Xanthi. And so I'm going with the title Cool Peeps. And now I'm going through, in the sketch, there are uh, embellishments on several of the diamond shapes. And so I'm looking for some of those. I find this pink bird, and I decide that will go well on that green square. And then for some reason, I think this tiny little bow is going to work well on that the wavy multicolored one it, it that i'm going to replace that later i then take one of the diamond puffy stickers and both the bow and the diamond are from let your heart decide by pink fresh studio the bird i'm a thinking that came from a crepe paper or maggie holmes chipboard sheet and i 
had pulled it out for something else earlier and you know, just ended up in this dash kit. As you can see, I also pulled from the Let Your Heart Decide, uh, or no, that was from Maggie, no, Paige Evans, the one I'm inking up right now, that's from Paige Evans Horizon. I'm sticking that over next to my title. And you'll see I still have that bow there, but I did add a happy sticker to the uh, little diamondy puffy sticker just to increase what's going on there because the, the size difference was too, too much. So I'm going to go ahead, glue down my where, where my journaling will end up at some point. I finally realized that that bow just looks super dumb there. <laughs> so I'm going to figure out something else from this Maggie Holmes chipboard. And I, I'm not sure which Maggie Holmes it came from, but it's a couple years old. I find that little black and white sketchy bird. So I use that and I'm searching for something to go on that multicolor wavy diamond and I just haven't found the correct thing yet. I am going to add some liquid glue to all of my chipboard pieces that includes those two tiny hearts I found as well as the two birds and then I think oh you know what I'm going to go ahead and just use that butterfly uh, chipboard piece from the Maggie Holmes line as well. All right folks I am going to be finishing up here. I'm going to be doing my journaling and then finishing off with some Heidi Swap gold color shine and some multicolored enamel dots because I almost always add enamel dots. While I'm almost done here, I do want to mention once again, make sure you head on over and check out Christy's channel. I will say she's got a lot of stuff, a lot of balls in the air and everything, so her video might not be up right away. She will be getting to them. We are going to be taking July off due to some uh, just stuff going on, both for her and for me. So thank you so much for joining me here today. Don't forget to check out Christy's video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!